Hello and welcome everyone, it's the PC Noob here with another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. Today we're back here at the fishing dock and I'm going to attempt to work on things a bit more, uh, kind of decorate some of this bottom floor, put in the stairway hopefully to the second floor, and decorate maybe some of this dock. Now, I had a few suggestions on my last video for some really neat additions. Uh, one of which included fence posts and pressure plates for... for tabletops, I suppose, or bar stools. Uh, let's just make up... pressure plates here. I'm not sure how I like that idea. Um, it creates a nice table, but I'm not sure for bar stools how I like that. Um, let's just take a look briefly. Yeah, that's a nice tabletop, but I mean, it kind of looks like this. And I already have that in place with the wool uh, tops to make things look a little different. Now, another suggestion I had was to sink, sink the floor down by half a slab. Um, that would probably solve a lot of issues, and it might be something I'm going to attempt in the future, but at the moment, that's not uh, a priority. One thing I had came up with uh, right before I started recording is just putting a layer of uh, light gray carpet across the outside there, not on the inside. Um, and it just kind of adds like uh, two different uh, tabletop textures. Just to break it up a bit, so you can tell it's uh, too wide from a distance. And, you know, this is the side people are serving the drinks on. They still need the room to do everything. We'll have, like, um, maybe a brewing stand or something up along the top of this. Kind of show the draft options. Um, I think this looks neat. So I'm going to stick with that. We're going to have the stairwell in here. Probably up this way, down this way. So I apologize for the lack of videos this last week. I've been extremely busy with work, um, lots of other things. I'm very hard at work on episode three of my Jack Boone series. Oh, that's Brown Wolf. What am I doing? Um. Come on. Uh, so yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, I've really been helping out a lot with the NCZM. They're a really cool group of guys and girls um, that have really helped me a lot with the Jack Boone series. So I wanted to return the favor and help them out a lot. So I've been playing uh, very late, very late into the uh, morning with them and then going to work after. So this week has just been exhausting on me. Um, last night, I was just uh, completely worn out. Um, I was unable to record anything. So I kind of feel pretty bad about that. I'm trying to get this to like curve. I don't think it's going to because it needs something to curve too. If I put it like that and then that. Yeah, that's the, the look I want, but it's not not happening. Now the only way I can think to do that is go like this. Go like so. Like so, that looks pretty neat, and that I will repeat on the top too. Um, the top part, we'll see. I might do the dark oak wood. I'm not too sure, but uh, to make up for the lack of videos, I'm going to try to record quite a few uh, this weekend. To make sure I have stuff to upload through the week. Uh, I'm back to work like full swing and it's really busy. You don't get a whole lot of time for anything else. Um, don't mean to complain. Uh, I'm very thankful I have a job, but at the same time, <laughs> my job has been extremely exhausting. Um, we're seasonal work, so we're just getting back in the swing of things and discovering things that don't work and try to fix them and still continue with production, so it's been a bit of a task. I don't know if this is going to grow back in or not. I think it should. Mm. 
I might just chop these out and let this grass grow in. If it takes too long, I will attempt to go get silk touch. <laughs> so maybe that's what I should do, is just take out all the bottom pieces. Um, this side is fine as is. I'm not going to mess around with that. That needs to go. Uh, so let's just take out all these bottom pieces for now. Let the grass grow back in, and then we can start etching out the window frames that we'll be using. Uh, you can see that not every angle here is going to work out perfectly, but I'm going to try to stick with this theme as much as possible because I like it. This one we don't have to worry about. Nice. Just go like this, this, this. Unless I decide to change this to grass, of course, which, knowing me, would be something I would do. Yeah, now we just got to let that grow back in. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting some doors in. Sticks. Let's see. We need some sticks and we need some fence gates. Yep. Uh, I'm actually going to need one more, I think. Just like that. Now I'm going to attempt to record quite a bit here on the weekend. Um, oops, I have not played Banished in a while. I'm not sure how the City of Mondo is holding out. Um, that is uh, a Banished Let's Play uh, City, World, Village, whatever you want to call it. Hoping things are going to be okay when I start playing that again this afternoon. Um, not sure. That series is gonna last much longer. Uh, that, excuse me, <laughs> that uh, starvation that we had—that uh, was a pretty big scare. So uh, this is kind of what I have in mind for the doors instead of actual doors. It'd be like more of a saloon type feel. Wait, uh, this is gonna have to go immediately. Um, do we have any, like, grass? Oh, just dirt. Go over to this side. Uh, replace that. Whoa! And replace that. I think I don't have a very good pickaxe. That glass would have been gone. Uh, another suggestion I had was to put a lighthouse in, and I think that would be a very cool addition. I'm thinking maybe even raiding here of some sorts, um, something to guide the ships in, and really add to this place and let it be known that this is for boats and for the fishermen. It's getting late, so I'm probably going to crash here, although not really much need to. There's not a lot of mobs. I actually went AFK here just before recording, and I had no problems. You can do this window ledge, I do believe, too. Count three, yes. Ah. Go. So I'm having a lot of fun with the, the NCZN crew. Uh, they're a really cool bunch of people. Uh, I consider them like a second family now. Um, there's so many different personalities and characters in that group. So that you can uh, expect a lot of funny videos in the future coming from these guys and girls. Um, we have some very cool ideas in mind, which I think are pretty funny and unique. Um, so you guys should definitely keep an eye out for that. If it's not going to be on my channel, it'll be on the NCZN's main YouTube channel, uh, which is www.youtube.com backslash user backslash main creations. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. That is, I guess, their central hub for all their videos. Should probably like that up. And there are uh, other members of the NCZN that have their own YouTube channels too. Be sure to check them out. If you go back and watch any of my uh, NCZN related DayZ videos, you will find links to all their channels there. So be sure to check that out mean a lot to them and I think you guys are missing out if you don't um, on their main channel 
NCZN Sweet and Clear has put up a very cool fan made nuclear explosion done in Daisy and it looks freaking amazing. Uh, he spent a lot of time on it and for he spent a lot of time on it uh, for how uh, brief the clip is. It's only a 22 second clip, but he spent, I think, like four hours on it. And it it really shows how good it is. Um, I was very impressed. Um, I think it's something he's going to incorporate into his videos. So you have to keep an eye out for that. Nice. Looking decent, looking decent. Things are coming along. Need some of these areas to fill in, and we'll be good to go. Uh, not sure. Kind of want the dark oak wood up along the top. I'll just try that. And we'll just go like so. Now, I'm not sure that might sink it in a bit, and I could probably work with that. We'll make uh, the second floor one thinner than the bottom floor, if that makes any sense. I really would prefer if it came out like this, but it's not going to work on these corner pieces. So, I'll just stick to what works at the moment. Uh, why I'm an organic builder, or why I call myself one. Just kind of chip away at things and build things as I go. I think this would be a lot easier if I could get up top. Oops. I know I need that. Let's get rid of the food. I'm not starving. Oh, come on. So, I, I apologize for the lack of content, like I said before. Um... I'm going to attempt to record as much as I can on the weekends to ensure that I have videos to put up through the week, but you guys can expect this kind of schedule for the next few months. Um, my work is very busy and very unpredictable. There's a lot of random overtime, a lot of late hours, stuff like that, but it's only for a few months, guys, and then things will be back to normal. Let's hope. Unless I miraculously put out a crazy video and um, garner a lot of attention that way. If I can make this YouTube channel big, I would love that. Um, it would be a dream, uh, an honor, and a pleasure of mine to do this for a living and share my videos with a lot of people. Um... That was the idea in mind when I started this. I would love to be able to quit my job and do this full time. It would be just unbelievable. Let's hope that happens. Just got to keep working hard. Oops. Keep plugging away at things and not get discouraged. Uh, I feel I've been doing very well. I'm only, uh, I've only been doing YouTube for six months, I think now. Um, I've gained a good chunk of subscribers, a uh, good steady fan base. Um, I know some of my Minecraft videos, uh, they have a pretty um, solid viewer base. People who always come back and check out my videos and leave awesome comments and really make my day. So that's. Ooh, I appreciate that a lot. Does that look right? It should be like that, but it's not going to connect. Okay, 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 okay. We'll go like uh, we'll go like so. Mm -hmm. I guess like that. Um, so I apologize uh, again for. The amount of time I've been spending on the DayZ videos. I know some of them aren't as family friendly as my Minecraft Banished videos. Um, my Starbound Terraria. Well, Terraria. A little more um, 
uncensored, I suppose. But uh, I promise there'll be lots of like family friendly content for Daisy in the future. We have a lot of oops, cool ideas being input from all the members on the NCZN. Lately, we have been dealing with some unsportsmanlike conduct from uh, just people who hop on the server. It's not a private server, so like anybody's allowed to come on and play with us. And there are some few people who want to ruin the experience for everybody else, which is pretty typical for uh, games like Daisy or any other mass MMO type game. Just the way people are. Um, oops. Those kinds of games tend to attract the wrong types of people. So it's only normal to deal with... Uh, how do I use this word correctly? I apologize, but the uh, assholes can't really think of anything else to say. Because that's all they are, is they come on and ruin everybody's experience. But we've been dealing with some hackers and stuff like that. People who teleport across the map and, you know, are tracking down certain members of the NCZN and making their playing experience um, very miserable. So that's always fun to deal with. Um, I know the admins on the server have been quite active in trying to eliminate them, uh, reporting them to game servers, uh, to Steam and everything else, but um, at the moment I just don't think Bohemia Interactive, people are responsible for Daisy or the game servers, um, they're just not capable of permanent permanently banning people at the moment. Uh, it's just kind of too much of a guessing game, and um, which sucks for the rest of us, but hopefully in the near future, um, I believe with like the next update for the game, uh, they're going to implement stat tracking abilities, which will make this whole banning process and, you know, keeping the server friendly and uh, accessible for everybody a lot easier. Oh, shoot. I forgot this is all sunk. Oh, this is all... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Huh. Well, that sucks. I wanted, uh... Like, fence posts. But, um... I'm gonna have to... Raise the docks a bit, I guess, in those areas. I don't know how I like that idea. But... Like, something like that. Uh, I don't know if I like that. What I might do instead, oops, what I might do is put one fence post in the middle. Instead of two like this, just one in the middle to kind of show, oh, this is where you tie up your boat. Um, so probably just like that. It's not as fancy and not as cool looking, but I think it gets the point across. And I want to leave the room for people to be able to um, hop up on the dock. Because if you fall in the water here, it's uh, pretty hard to jump back out. Kind of really have to hold the button. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, how well this is going to look, but let's try it. Might even put one like here. I don't know. We'll see about that. But I'm really looking forward to adding some stuff. The lighthouse really gave me a cool inspiration. Um, I'd like to use 
white and red to do it, but if not, that's uh, quite alright. I know that's usually done with wool, and I'm not sure how I like the idea of using wool. It doesn't look very solid. It looks very um, fake in a way, very painted. I don't know how to use the right word. It just doesn't look natural. It doesn't look solid. It looks very like uh, superimposed in a way, like it doesn't belong. I do enjoy using wool for my builds, but I like it for carpets, for uh, inside walls, and decoration like that, flooring, stuff like that. Because the texture on it kind of makes it stand out. Now, I really don't know if I like this, guys, but um, gives it something. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think of that. I'm not super keen on it, but we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. It's not too bad. Let's focus back in on this. So I think next we should do the stairwell. I'm not too sure what design I'm going to use or... Hmm. Let's go up the second floor, kind of just plan some things out. So I would like it to end here, if possible. And I'm just seeing how um, far out this is going to go at this rate. This rate comes all the way out to here. Now that's pretty far out. I don't know if I really like that idea. So, we're going to just cut this back a bit to at least here. We'll just snake it around this way and see if this works. Yeah, that should work. Gives enough room for people to come in. Get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah. And then here We'll probably have a staircase that goes down, like so. So we'll see how that works. Um, like that. Cool. So this snakes around, comes up to uh, another platform, the second floor, I suppose. Now, the second floor is probably going to be right here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it too thick. No, no, no. Actually, this needs to go up one more. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Well, I need the next floor on this level, basically. Uh, like a so. So how is that going to affect everything? Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, before I start chopping everything up, we need to kind of make this. A little bit bigger. That should work essentially. Yeah, it's fine. We can work with that. And I'll just chop out. Some of these under pieces. Put that that back in. Uh, that that and that back in. There we go. And what I might do here is change it up so. Oops. 
so that it starts, the downward spiral starts like here-ish. It might even just kind of go like that. Okay, coming along, coming along. Let's put the fence post back in. That still doesn't match up where I want it to. That was there. Let's get rid of that. Back in. Yeah. Yeah. You can put one here, right? Cool. Might just do one there instead. I know it kind of sticks out. It's a little, a little bit of an eyesore, but uh, it's gonna work. So this is gonna be like the second floor here. Uh, not sure how much of a second floor it's gonna have. Probably to here, and maybe even just straight across. See how much room that gives us to work with. I'd like just like some bedroom type things here. Yeah, just yeah. We'll work with that. See how it looks. And I remembered I want to bring this second floor in a little bit, which shouldn't be too hard to do, so that this. Floor is one less space around the outside than the floor below it. And I will kind of taper um, these sides here so they look a little better. I'll put something over top of those logs. Kind of make things look a little bit more natural. And I'm out of oak wood. Just hop over here. Oops. Oak wood, yeah, we got lots of oak wood. I made sure to do lots of harvesting. I apologize again that this project has been taking me so long to complete, but uh, I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. Uh, from what I gather from the comments and everything, people seem to like this style of play, where I kind of just sit and record what I'm doing. Not worry so much about a final product and whatnot. That takes a lot of time to ensure you have something of quality to show for all the work you've done. It can take quite a few hours sometimes. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, probably have to go out to like here even. Oh, this piece has to do. Just like so, I think. Yeah? Oh, awesome. That works. So I've uh, <laughs> already recorded the script for episode 3, and that required me to do a little bit of voice acting. Um, I was uh, having a lot of fun when I did it. It was super exciting. Uh, I had like an adrenaline rush by the time I was done it. I really put... Um, my heart and soul into doing the best of the performance as I could. Um, it's kind of an emotional episode in a way, so I hope that uh, emotion was portrayed properly. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it, if you like a good storytelling experience. I do have quite a few other ideas in mind, uh, as far as even just the Jack Boone series. I know exactly where I'm taking that series now. Uh, I, I'm happy I have a clear-cut vision of what I want to have happen, key moments that are going to happen, and stuff like that. But it also sparked other ideas for maybe even another, uh, I don't want to say spin-off, but a one-off um, episode for that series, which will be a lot of fun, I think. It should be a real blast to record. I, I like how that looks. Um, just something different to kind of break things up. I wasn't too sure at first when I first saw it, but it, it definitely breaks up um, the walls and the window ledges from this floor or ceiling or however you want to look at it. And what I might do to kind of just, um, I don't have any on, change things up is like carve some out 
some designs out and stuff like that here and use half slaps to show a bit of a difference in texture or height. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this episode. It's been a half an hour already. I can't believe it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I got a little bit done, a little bit more progress. I'm going to attempt to record another episode right after, so you guys won't have to wait too long to see some more Minecraft goodness. I think it's coming along well, guys. Looking better, looking better. Slow progress, but uh, I had a lot to talk about on this episode and get you guys caught up with what's going on. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click the like button, show some support for this series, and let me know you guys are enjoying it and you want to see some more. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. You can stay up to date with all the latest videos that way and find out what's going on in the Banished Let's Play series, my Starbound Let's Play series, which I'm looking forward to getting back to. Uh, I'll probably be changing that to a favorite Let's Play experience. So, I'm the PC Noob, and until next time, as always, have a good one.